all? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, my phone is off airplane mode because somebody keeps uh, taking it. Yes. Uh-huh. Now, I just want to explain what attempt is. Yes. Uh, the actor instance of making an effort to accomplish something, <laughs> especially without success. Oh. <laughs> now, uh, criminal law, an overt act that is done with the intent to commit a crime, <laughs> uh, but that fails short of completing the crime. <laughs> Attempt is an intuit offense distinct from the intended crime. <laughs> Under the model penal code, an attempt includes any act that is substantial step towards commission of a crime, such as enticing, ooh, lying in wait for, or following the intended victim or unlawfully entering a building where a crime is expected to be committed. Yes. Model Penal Code 5.01. Mm. <laughs> Dangerous Proximity Test. Oh, Indispensable Element Test. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at intent. Yes, attempt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's what's known as conspiracy and solicitation. Oh, oh. oh. Now, when I was really looking at the attempt, what was being attempted in the change of my identification? The attempt was, yes, to have me incarcerated in a mental institution Mm -hmm. so that you could control my assets. Oh. Now, exactly how much was paid right, to uh, bribe the public defender's office mm-hmm. so that I wouldn't know that my driver's license had been changed, right? <laughs> so that I wouldn't know that the conspiracy ooch, was being solicited, yes, because of the intent, the attempt, right, <laughs> of getting all my assets. Mm-hmm. Now, we have some goals for today, okay? 4.30 p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> we'll start with the goal number one. Yes. How much money am I worth? Ooch. Inheritances. <sighs> Sheriff. <laughs> Do you know Verna and Elmer? <laughs> oh, I know. Inheritance. Ooch. How much money have you been paid? Yes. To conspire against me <laughs> so that the public defender didn't defend me. Ooch. <laughs> In fact, did the opposite, which conspired against me. Yes, he did. <laughs> then there's the public defender's office. <laughs> that cute little secretary. No, right now. You're going to prison. Now, as the defendant, right, when I figured out that you had me arrested for an allegation of a crime that took place on this date, yes, yes, yes. And then I said, well, I'm not going to court Mm -hmm. in two judicial days, which when I did cooperate and gave you days that you could have rescheduled the mental health evaluation because you would not admit the evidence that I wasn't in swim. Uh Oh, (laughs) the first best evidence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't admit the evidence that I was in this public library on December 31st of 2015. (laughs) Exactly how much money was the public defender's office paid? First goal, ouch, how much money am I really worth? See, you don't conspire with the attempt, yes, of the, well, the, the, really, the false incarceration of somebody that is normal saying, yes, unless somebody was paying, right, to change my address so that Mike Van Proyen would get all of the court notices, But instead of, or maybe besides of, yes, you didn't just pay the county, you paid some look-alike, yes, to go into a driver's license bureau, yes, and change the weight, yes, the height, yes, my actual name, Paul, comma, space, Budnick, is not my name. Oh, oh. now, when you think about it, mm -hmm, this driver's license is probably titled as it was at the time of me turning 16 years old. Yeah, most people, they never change it. It's kind of like you go in there, you pay X number of dollars, and you renew it. Mm -hmm. So from the time I was 16, yes, until today, where I'm 48, going to be 49 in July, yes, I have always had the same legal name in the state of Washington, and for the most part, every state of the United States. Now, public defender's office,
you're getting sued. Because if you had actually done what I requested when you requested my presence in court, yes, Port Angeles Police Department, you changed my name on a state-issued identification where I could go through the last, oh, 48, 16, 32 years, <clears throat> and I could see, did I ever have a space between Budnick, comma, Paul, <clears throat> And if I never did, you committed another crime. You changed my name. Now, in this state, yes, in every state of the United States, this is the name that I would be, yes, issued a ticket in. Isn't that right? You don't actually write down the names on these tickets, do you? Pooch. You enter in the driver's license number. Oh, oh. Then you put in Budnick. Yes, yes, you do. Paul and then Chad. Yes. That little comma. Yes, it does. It has significant meaning to the conspiracy. 